words that I uttered on, on camera. I, I was terrified, and then I look. I mean, I keep saying I looked around like I really did, and was just expecting everyone to be like, oh, "Like we're gonna be here for a while," you know. And, right. and like I don't know how she did it. I really don't know how she did it. She must have just been. I mean, look, she's a fighter, and they they are tedious and just relentless on their training, and I, I think that is a testament to you know, on how on, on the side for it. You know, I was like, look, you're killing this. You gotta know it. Don't be insecure. Like, this is gonna be a crazy ride. You probably won't have a ride like this, you know, because Soderbergh is such a, he's such a unique and sort of to him, like his own sort of, he's out in his own pasture, you know, and he's like, there's not that many of filmmakers that are like him, and, and that can make film like him. Mm -hmm. and. Those are the other, the other four people that are in that pasture, the other four people that I want to work with in right. my life, you know, and they're all his best friends. And, you know, I was like, look, just listen to them and, and learn and, and take it all in and enjoy it. Don't don't look for the result in this. Just do do it day to day. And she did. She really did. And I think, I think she did fantastic. Great advice. Uh, last thing for you. You're in a bar with her. Do you pick a fight with her? Do you do the manly thing, or do you just understand your place in that situation? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not stepping in between that. No, I, I can't. I'm gonna be filming. I'm gonna be like, get him, Jaden, get him. <laughs> I got it. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks, appreciate it. Yeah, we had a great time. Thanks, Thanks appreciate it. Just sling guns and be like that, like cool guy that has a gun, a concealed weapon, and he's just going out there like doing his job. And it's you know. They're very cocky. They're very cocky guys, and I and I and I love the idea of like some guy coming in and thinking, you know, that I'm not taking I'm not taking uh, orders from a woman, and you know, and then getting like dealt with, like you know, and really shown. But yeah, at the same time, kind of having like a respect and a bit of a like an enamored feeling of her, and, and having this tension with, you know, it's uh, I don't know, it feels really real to me. And I don't know, obviously, just to work sort of has been been a dream. Is there a role that you can look back on, a long time ago or recently, a male role that you just saw and you just thought, wow, I would love to have had that part? God, uh, so many probably. Um, hmm. Can't, I mean, the God, there's so many, but no, there's not one off the top of my head. I would have loved to have played in The Hustler. Um, I don't know, that's sort of my one of my benchmark movies of... You know, it's such a slow movie, but it's exciting and kind of like a, a big movie, but yet deals with like really small indie side type stuff. And and then you got Jack Gleason in the movie. He's like my favorite actor of all time. That like to to play the hustler would be.